Alright folks, welcome back to, well, well not welcome back, this is brand new. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play adventure with your friend of the digital age, Mysterious JG. We're going to Let's Play, oh man, a minute ago there was one that would have been kind of funny. we got yeah, Prince Caspian or some crap, Little Fokker, so that's sure to explore new ground that the previous Fokker movies left us wanting even more. Now, yeah... But that's what I want to play. Let's play Black Swan, the story of Sima Yi. Now, what we're actually going to let's play, folks, is a little game called Wet. I just got done doing um, Kagero Deception 2. I figured I was going to do a game called Trapped, the sequel. They're like really dark games full of traps and murder and whatever. But let's take a little boob break. Although those games had boobs in them, I suppose. All video games have boobs in them, pretty much. They've pretty much decided that boobs can sell video games. And in this case, boobs was not enough to sell wet. I don't think this game made a ton of money. It came from Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda Softworks, which uh, it looks like it's a different piece of Bethesda than the one that made Fallout, which is ludicrously successful. I really like this game. I think this game's a lot of fun, but it was kind of rushed. To, like The company that was making it got bought out by EA, I think. I might be thinking of a different game, but it just kind of got brushed, rushed out and finished by EA, who are like the big corporate bastards of the uh, video game world from, you know, what I've read. Action by Havoc. There's like various franchises with nerdy fans who claim that when Activision and EA got a hold of them, they ruined everything. But, um... Wet is not really a franchise, it's just a single standalone game that probably isn't going to get a sequel. I don't think this really made a ton of money. It's reasonably new. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, as you will see when we play it, it is a video game that really thinks that it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. Like it has more to do with Quentin Tarantino movies than it does with the source material of 70s movies. But uh, it's still a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, Quentin Tarantino movies are kind of like video games that you don't play anyway, so... Let's uh, just jump right in. Auto save, sure, whatever. Loading save game. I have no idea where I was the last time I played with this, so I need to start a new game. I'm not interested in challenge mode. I don't really care about options. Extra content? I didn't even know there was extra content. Bios, media, achievements. Oh. If anything, that's going to be game videos. new game. That's what we want. Alright folks, as you can probably tell, this is this is a game about a woman who has boobs and a gun. Uh, although her jacket is supernaturally tight to showcase her boobs. Um, before I say the word boob any more times, I'd just like to point out um, you know, I've LP'd various games and I've had a lot of fun with a lot of different games. And the Rumble Roses series might have given people um, the wrong impression that I just constantly play mildly pornographic video games. I don't. But, like, this game and Bullet Witch were both a lot of fun for me because they had chicks out there kicking everybody's ass. But this game is not as bad as, like, Bullet Witch, which had, like, downloadable content where you could put your character in, like, a skanky schoolgirl outfit or a skanky secretary costume. This game has a chick who's, like, she's meant to be hot, obviously, but they don't... And, like, yeah, the midriff's showing. That's probably not, strictly speaking, necessary. But, no, they don't really put her in outfits for the most part. This is pretty much the story of a woman who just kicks the shit out of everybody and uh, is therefore meant to be hot. And uh, I approve. So before I could say anything else to make myself look like a perv for even playing this game, um, I just wanted to say, yeah, you can't make her dress like a cheerleader. That's not the kind of character this is. So let's uh, go ahead and find out what kind of character she actually is. Starting a new game overrides your progress in story mode. I don't even remember where I was in story mode the last time I picked this up. I've I've beaten this game off camera. Uh, I think I played around with it a bit with Bobo. Um, yeah, I have no idea if I was playing another playthrough on hard or something. I felt you <laughs> on hard. <laughs> You're getting hard while playing what? No, if it's so, I don't even remember. I think I might have tooled around with trying to get achievements, but not really. This is a game I played through for the story, enjoyed, and then set down. So let's pick it back up for LP purposes. Give us a little break from uh, killing people with Femme Fatale, for those of you who are seeking... Okay, these are different difficulty levels. Golden bullets. Enemies are taken down with just one bullet, but Ruby's health is limited to... Yeah, this is a game where everybody takes a ludicrous amount of bullets to kill. It's just, Like I said, it's trying to be a Tarantino movie. 
people are always accusing Tarantino of ripping off John Woo, whichever. Uh, it is definitely a, like, 8 billion bullets on screen at once kind of thing. And I'm not going to bother to play on a higher difficulty level, because it's not about, this is, L, for LP purposes, it's about showing you the game, the story, making a couple of wisecracks. It's not about making the game more difficult than it has to be. It's not a particularly tough game, folks. Hint, a swig is useful to numb the pain. Find drink crates to replenish, release health. Yeah, whiskey is, in fact, the, uh, this game's version of, like, a heart that you would find and touch and get your health back. In this game, it's whiskey. And you get health back automatically by killing people. It's kind of weird. Wet. Wet work. A euphemism alluding to the hands literally wet with blood. There she is, Ruby. I Let's do this. Oh. Don't want to keep the old man waiting. I was told Mr. Ackers was sending a woman. Change you plans. don't always die from to send me and You are. Name Simmons. Well, Simmons, I don't like change. If this were any other situation, any other trade-off, my instincts would be to walk the fuck out the door and scrap this deal. Relax. I'm just here to do business for Mr. Ackers. That the cash? Yeah. Now, are we gonna do this? You know as well as I do that what you have in the case doesn't have that long of a shelf life. All right, let's get it done. Get her done. Your instincts? You should trust them more often. Oh, blood everywhere. Instantly, the game's just started. The guy didn't really leave himself a very clever that escape plan. That piece of shit has my case. I'm gonna get on Here we go. Stuff. I'm already finding this game has too much dialogue and I'm having a hard time making fun of it. Okay, so Ruby's flipping around. She's killing everyone that she can see. We have no idea who's on what. Ruby! She's got like an umlaut. She's Ruby! Jumping. Attack enemies while jumping from midair. Continue. Press A to jump. Press the R trigger to shoot. Almost screwed that up. Who the hell are you? Attack enemies while sliding on the ground. I'll be doing this a lot. Press B to slide. Press R2 to shoot. Where the hell are you? That hey, bitch! <laughs> game has great background enemy dialogue. It's more appropriate than it is in Bionic Commando. The Bionic Commando enemies would fit right in here. The ones are like, fuck you, Spencer! They would fit right in. Meanwhile, enjoy that shot of Ruby's butt. Uh, wall running. Attack enemies while running on the walls. Press and hold LT to wall run. Press RT to shoot. Now the game starts. For reals. Basically, this is what you do. You, you there are things that put the game in bullet bullet time mode. You want to make sure you're in bullet time mode at all times, because every time you get away from bullet time mode, you get killed. shooting at. I should be shooting at that guy. Oh, there's a couple of guys I should be shooting at. Double dealer. Double whammy. Interesting thing about this game, Ruby has guns in either hand. The uh, One of the guns auto-aims at the nearest enemy. You manually control the other one, so you can try to do more damage. Which basically means you just hit the R trigger and slide around all the time, you're gonna be okay most of the time. <laughs> I'm sure there are higher difficulty levels where you couldn't get away with being as inept as I have been. But yeah, pretty much this is a game where you like have fun killing dudes. Not a great deal of, to worry about. If you wanna get like crazy bonus points, you've gotta be good. If you just wanna kill stuff, you don't have to be that good. Sit. I'm here to put an end to your comedy jam, Russ Simmons. Split targeting. Ah, now they're about to explain what I just told you. During our back slow-mo, Ruby automatically aims her second gun at a nearby enemy. Use split targeting to shoot at two enemies at the same time. Press A to jump. 
So I have to aim at this guy, or she automatically aims at him. I get the double dealer bonus. That's basically what they're trying to teach us there. Then I continue along this way. You do tend to get shot by enemies that you can't see. At least I do. Well, you're still alive. You can kill people when you're not in bullet speed mode. Jumping, sliding, and running on walls puts you in bullet time mode. You can kill enemies when you're not in bullet time mode, but it's way easier to get killed when you're just... You, for some reason, you shoot much slower. So you're like, just running on walls. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You don't need any kind of running start. You just go like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Similarly, sliding. I was like, oh, I'm at a full stop. Sliding! Full stop. Sliding! It doesn't make a lot of sense. She apparently has greased knees. Alright, I'm keeping half an eye on that timer. I do intend to try to make 15 minute videos out of this since it's an action game. I don't think I want to... And she taps her foot with impatience when you... In a really jerky animation. I've never noticed that before. Oh, I don't think that's her normal animation. I think that was just because she was, like, stuck on an object or something. Oh, hey, I, uh... I pray to you, Lord Guan Yu, please grant me success in commerce and stuff, since you're the god of commerce. Please grant me even more impressive bazooms. Okay. Take a swig. A swig is useful to numb the pain. Uh, whiskey, I think they mentioned this already. We don't know a whole lot about Ruby at this point, and to tell you the truth, you don't learn a whole hell of a lot about her before the game's over, but... What do you want to know, folks? She's hot, she kills... the Y button. She's got a sword. She's on screen and button pressing instructions. For you. Simmons seems to have oh sword attacker. Use the sword for powerful attacks. Press X to use the sword. Well awesome music plays. Oh, use the sword if I feel like it, otherwise I'll shoot people. Yay, I can use the sword to destroy certain objects, like people. Apparently not that thing. Maybe these things? Yeah, they can be destroyed by a sword. In fact, I have to destroy things with that sword to continue, which is why they explained it at that point. Ladders. Attack enemies while hanging on ladders. Use the... Oh, I can slide and shoot. That's cool. I, I do remember that now. the gap, but hopefully not while being shot at. Move into low obstacles to vault over them. Oh, she rolls over them all. Rolly poly. Meanwhile, Simmons is trying to escape, as is his wont. Big chunk of this game. Yeah, and you will spend a lot of this game shooting when there's no one there because you don't know what's going on. Oh, press LT to wall dash. Okay. Cool. I'm making it look easy, folks. This is the first stage. It actually is some pretty complicated controls in this game. Because you can't, I haven't done it yet, but you can fall to your death, and it's going to happen before I'm finished with this zone. What are they talking about? Somebody's down there telling me to suck they special sauce or something. That does happen a bit in this game. People tell you about the special sauce. Okay, I just was talking about how I never die, and then I immediately died. I guess I had that coming. See? 70s film. That's what they want you to think about, folks. 70s film. Alright, what I'm going to do is going to kind of split the video here. When we come back, folks, I'm going to try to get through the first uh, explanatory stages without dying. And maybe, just maybe, I can accomplish this by not talking about how I never die because I'm so awesome. Alright, folks, so we'll be back in a moment. Obviously, you're not supposed to go back to street level here. You've got to stick with the roofs. I haven't figured out exactly where to go. You will, We will spend a certain amount of time, folks, just looking around and figuring out where the hell does the game wants to go now. Because uh, despite the appearance, it is an incredibly linear game. kind of makes it look like a sandbox city game. It isn't at all. It's very linear. You just can't always tell exactly where you got to go. But we're going to find out where we got to go next time, folks. 
Um, so this is the first video of Let's Play Together, or not Let's Play Together, Let's, let's Play Wet. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hope I get far enough for you to actually see whether or not the game is any good next time. Well, check me out in the next video. Bye-bye.